All right, we've had some great weather this morning and more great weather on the way this afternoon. I really hope you get a chance to get outside and enjoy it. Maybe take lunch outside and enjoy some of that sunshine today because we're not going to have a lot of that sunshine tomorrow. In fact, here's what you need to know as we're going into the end of the week. We do have more strong thunderstorms on the way tomorrow. And much like last week, our timing looking like it's really going to be starting around 4 p.m. through about midnight. The strongest of those storms likely going to be here in the Memphis Metro, a little closer to 6 or 7 p.m. And again, much like last week, damaging winds and heavy rain are biggest concerns, but I cannot rule out a tornado in some of those strongest thunderstorms. Here's the latest severe weather outlook. It does include Memphis, much of the metro area, much of western Tennessee and eastern Arkansas in that level four out of five risk. That's the uh, shaded area in red. Everybody else in that level three out of five. So even though the risk is slightly lower this time in Mississippi, it is still a medium risk and anybody could see severe weather tomorrow. The best ingredients and the highest risk does seem to be in eastern Arkansas, especially into western Tennessee and Memphis and just to the north of town. Here's what we were talking about when we say severe weather again, much like last week, damaging winds going to be a big concern. It does not take a tornado to cause damage. We didn't have a tornado in Memphis last week and we had uh, several thousand people lose power. Several trees come down. It's going to be a, a similar thing this week. Wind gust up to 60 miles an hour, much like last week. A couple of the strongest thunderstorms could spin up some tornadoes. There is definitely a potential of that. It's not going to happen everywhere with every storm, but some tornadoes are possible. Flooding and hail not as big of a concern. Here's what the hour by hour radar is going to look like. We'll start it off tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and we could actually have a little bit of rain in the morning. That would actually be good news, and I'll talk about why here in just a little bit. By 3 p.m., seeing some showers, but the heaviest of the thunderstorms not going to develop until around 4 or 5 p.m. in eastern Arkansas. Those storms will be crossing the river into the Memphis area a little closer to 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., and then eventually working their way into western Tennessee and northern Mississippi between about 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Could still have some thunderstorms hanging on through 10 or 11 p.m., but certainly by midnight, those storms are going to be totally clear of Memphis and the Mid-South. Now here's your storm energy. This is the fuel that the thunderstorms need to turn severe. We're going to have plenty of it. You see the map lighting up tomorrow at 4 p.m. That afternoon we're going to start to see the ingredients come together, but I talked about the potential for some rain in the morning. That would be great news because any rain in the morning is going to be able to eat away at some of this storm energy before the actual thunderstorms can use it. So the more rain we see in the morning, the lower our severe weather threat is going to go. Still a severe weather potential, but the more rain we have, the lower the threat is. Now, if you wake up tomorrow morning and see sunshine, unfortunately, that is going to make the threat worse. It's going to add more energy to the atmosphere. So hoping for rain. We don't want to see any sunshine tomorrow. Latest updates coming into the forecast all the time. We've got the updates at ABC24.com. Also on the ABC24 app, it's free for iPhone and for Android devices. Now, right now, no weather concerns. We've got sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s. It is feeling really nice out there. Hardly a cloud in the sky. That's going to continue for the rest of the day. Sunny skies, a couple of clouds, highs in the 70s. Again, tomorrow we're watching for storms in the afternoon and evening. Weekend looks great. Sunshine highs in the 60s and 70s. More storms next week. I'm really watching Tuesday into Wednesday. Some of those could turn severe as well.